everyone, today I'm going to show you how you can use our fancy flip cut-ups to make four different kinds of cards. When you get your fancy flip cut-ups, it comes with two shapes that you can use to decorate your cards. Just use a wire cutter to snip them out. Be careful about any pieces that you cut off. They might be sharp. First we'll make a vertical card. For a four and a quarter by five and a half inch card, you'll need a piece of cardstock that's six and three quarters by five and a half. Find the middle of the cardstock and mark with a pencil. I'm using a pen so you can see. Then place the bar with the small bump along the center line and tape in place using low tack tape. and run through the die cut machine. The die will not only cut out the parts of the card that will flip, but it will also emboss the parts that will fold. Gently remove the die. To make the card flip, just fold the card in half along the center score line Fold back along the remaining score line. See, it flips. Shall I show you that again? Fold the card in half along the center score line and then fold back along the second score line. Make sure you give it a nice crease. Now let's do a horizontal card. For an A2 size card, you'll need a piece of card stock that's 8 inches by 4 and a quarter inches. Find the center of the card stock just like the last card and place the bar with the small bump on the center line. Line up the edge of the top and bottom of the big bump with the top and bottom of the paper. Use low tack tape to hold everything in place. Now gently remove the die and the tape. And just like the other card, you fold the card in half along the center score line and fold back along the remaining score line. So those are two types of flip cards you can make with the fancy flip cut-ups. Did you know that you can also use it to make easel cards? Fold your card in half and slip one end through the die. Make sure you line it up so that the die is nice and straight. Run through the die cut machine and remove the tape. And voila! Easel card! Now let's see what the other side looks like as an easel card. I think I'm putting the die up a little bit too high, but it'll do for demonstration purposes. So here's what the other side looks like as an easel card. It's amazing what this one die can do. So this one die can make not one type of easel card, but two different types of easel cards. A vertical flip card 
and a horizontal flip card. Now, how many types of cards can you make using the fancy flip card cut-ups? Mm -hmm.